Welcome to Pizza Night. It's not really a homemade pizza demonstration, although I did make the sourdough crust from scratch. I just shredded up some cheese. I'm going to use some jarred sauce and some sliced pepperoni, and, and that's it. What we're really here to do is to try out this sliding pizza peel. I, I, I'm very skeptical that this will work, but uh, we're gonna find out. This is only, what, like a, I'm guessing 12 inches wide, so I can't have a really huge pizza. Well, these are these are super sticky. This this, this might be a, a tough demonstration for this. Yeah, this is very this is a very sticky dough. We'll see. I'm going to roll it around in this flour just to give it a fighting chance. Maybe put a little more down. We'll see. And I'm just going to kind of stretch this out to about 12 inches. How are we doing here? And that's about the right width. Let's see if I can make it a little more round. So that, that looks good. That looks like a good circle. We'll see what happens. We are ready to try the sliding pizza peel. It's, there's flour on the counter. This should, if this thing works at all, it should slide right on here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I only got half of it on there. Let me, see, let me try it again. All right. Attempt number two at the sliding pizza peel. My pizza is just too big. It's working, but the pizza is too big. My problem was that I made a pizza as wide as the pizza peel. However, the pizza can only be at probably I'm guessing like this big, 10 inches, not 12 inches. So we are going to try this again. I hope I don't have too much flour on the counter. That could be unpleasant. Let's see. That could be close. That's cutting it close. I don't think it could be any larger than this. All right, attempt number two at getting this on the sliding pizza peel. I have a good feeling about this one. Much better. All right, it, it works. I'm gonna slide this into the oven. That's the second part of this. Worked. Okay, I'm going to make one final pizza. This one's for my daughter. All right, attempt number three. I'm, I'm an old pro at this now, so this should be super easy. I'm just gonna slide this under. Look at that. Nothing to it. Voila. I think you're supposed to be able to take the pizza out with this peel too. Actually, I forgot. So there you have it, three pizzas, uh, <laughs> one, let's, let's call one the prototype, and but the second and third attempt were very successful. I think that the sliding pizza peel is a fantastic product. However, if I could change anything, I would probably make it twice as large. I realize that could make storage an issue for some people, but um, I, I, would, I would prefer to make larger pizzas. It works great, and if you are happy with a 10-inch pizza, then go for it. Five out of five.